Okay, here we are. It's a uh, well, Sunday morning. A beautiful day out. Probably 75 degrees. It's a good day to work outside here for a little bit before I have to go to another graduation party. But uh, uh, the ground's perfect for this, so I definitely want to see if I can, what I can do with it. So we're looking at the state or the uh, smokehouse here in the back of the property. It's the north side of the home, actually. And I've got a drainage issue right there where the tractor is sitting. Uh, the problem is, is the, a lot of the water from this portion of my yard, you can see how it slopes up all up against the house. I have a good fall, probably five to eight percent fall. Um, some of it goes towards the front of the property, which is perfectly fine. Um, but a good shot of this right here actually goes towards the rear of the property. You know, this area right here. Now in the past, it hasn't been an issue for the fact that it kind of went in the woods and I didn't really care too much what happened in there. Uh, but since I put the station house in, I've got a lot more waterfall and pavers, which basically the water doesn't go into the ground there. It likes to run off. And I've got it all kind of falling uh, away from the garage door here, uh, down the sidewalk onto the grass. And then the patio over here where the chairs are at, I actually have it falling away from the doors, obviously, into this area here. Um, where they actually um, it kind of falls off behind the plants there onto the lower part Which is good um, Some of my some of the water actually puddles in the uh, smokehouse But I think once I get the roof on the smokehouse I don't think that will be an issue anymore because like I said most of it falls this way um, You can see I've got some yard work. I have to do here. I put the beds in you saw that on a previous video but what I did was yesterday I took the box blade Kind of smeared that off the top i'm going to come back over the top with some topsoil and that all gets grass through there now the section of the yard here uh, i guess this section of the yard over here actually falls away that way which is the lowest part of my property is that corner back here in the woods but this part right here it doesn't go that way it actually goes this way and like i said in the past i didn't care if it went in there and whatever it did but now what i have to do is i have to make a yard um well i'm going to put grass here like i talked about but I also want to put some grass here where the tractor's sitting at around the corner here because I want to bet a mow and keep my mower off of the pavers and mow around the corner here a little bit. And then the guy that sprays my yard, same thing. I want him to, be able to just travel through here and get to the other section of the yard without having to go away around to the front. So what that said is I have to get my grade right because right now it gets pretty, pretty waterlogged right in here. And the issue is I have good fall from here uh into here and then right here i'm not sure if you can tell on the camera but you can see there's some some grade increases here which is a problem so that whole area right there has to go down and if you look back this way let me take you back a little bit you can see naturally where i'm trying to take the water and there's no way on earth that water's going to actually go that way right now what what's happening is the water from there is actually puddling here and then all the water from here is actually puddling here too uh, this is high land over here. I want to keep it that way. So what I have to do is chisel out some of that And I'll show you where I'm gonna take it So this is the, obviously the high area by just looking at it I'm gonna run a line here and show you what I'm gonna do to find out what I need to do to get that down lower Where the water is gonna flow and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap it around the corner here And you can see in the woods over here. I definitely go lower in this corner. I'm real high here I could use the dirt on the property, so it's like dirt's not the issue. The box blade on the back of the tractor should make easy work of it. But I think if I can get to about right in here, I think if I can get in here, that's a pretty good drop from over here. Uh, it actually drops off really quick. I don't care what happens back in here. But you can see all my other property actually flows that way too. So wherever it happens in the woods, I really don't care. It does get wet back there, but the biggest issue is it doesn't dry out as quick because of all the shade. So that's the plan right now. That's what I want to do. I'm hoping to get it done today. It's a little muddy or I guess a little wet back in here, but the part I need the chisels right there right now. If I can at least get it to this spot here, it would be better. Uh, just get this area drained out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run a line. Uh, I could get a um, transit and shoot elevation, which is the easiest way. But those things are like 500 bucks, 600 bucks for a good one maybe 800 and I don't want to spend the money on that right now so um, I'm kind of cheap so I'm gonna do it the old-fashioned way I pulled some line out I'm gonna put a stake here stake down there put a bubble line on it and just make sure I have fall I'm looking for about three to four to five percent drop which means I'm gonna have to chisel a lot out of here so if I focus on this 
this should play nice and that should play nice and then i'll work on that and kind of go around the corner should be fun should be easy work for the tractor i'm using this uh land pride d box i think they call it or box blade works pretty good it's almost like a little bulldozer i'll probably have to drop the forks when i get over here give me a little bit more bite the scraper is just not going to be enough and i'm missing one i got one in the garage it's broken but it should work fine i'll move it to one of the middle sections but uh with the tractor the b2650 the land pride box blade um it shouldn't be too much i'll probably have to make about 30 passes there to get that down but like i said i'm going to use the dirt in other areas of the yard so it makes sense speaking of the tractor i mean these things are great um you know the garden tractors are kind of old school now because this thing does it all i mean this thing mows it for me it does the groundwork for me it's got a front end loader but the tractor's incredible i'm glad i bought it i think i've had it three three and a half years now and um it's got like a uh, 250 hours on it maybe but it essentially did all my all my yard work i actually put my entire yard in myself did my own grading myself too um and it's fairly easy with that thing that's without a transit uh the front i had bulldozed um but then i did rough it over at that that was painful out there with a little small five foot box plate uh but it definitely leveled it out um now around the house i did do all the grading there with the box plate but that was pretty easy so uh, i'm gonna go ahead and set the line and i'm gonna get to work and we're gonna see how this all goes so long story short what i'm gonna do here is um <clears throat> i'm gonna measure see what my distance of my ground to the level wide line is which is about 13 inches there. So 13 in here. So I'm gonna go 13, all right, which is my starting point. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slowly look down the line here and see where I'm at. I think I'm good here. Let's just double check. I probably have good fall here. And I am on the lip of here, 13 and a half, which is fine. So if I move here, See, we are right here. 14 and a half. And then we come to here. I think this is where I'm gonna have my problems at. So I'm at 13 and three quarter, a little bit of drop here, but I can definitely start right here because I'm only a quarter of an inch from my last point, which is kind of slim. So I made my mark there. I want to start chewing out right there. There may be a little bit of sag in this line, but uh, it's good enough for what I'm doing here. I don't have to be perfect. I just got to have fall. 3% would be ideal. So I'm 13 and a half here, so I'm pretty flat right here. No fall there at all. And in here, I probably definitely have to come up. I'm at 12 and a half here, so I definitely need to take from here. I kind of knew it. Now, I am a little lower right there. So ideally, the water's probably going to go to this point. But I definitely need to chew out here. Let's take this thing down the line a little bit farther. See what we are right here, roughly. 13 and a quarter. So I'm, I'm rising at this point. That's why my water is not going out. And then let's see what we are here. 15. So if I come back this way a little bit number 14 or so there's the 14 right there so that's from I need to probably get to here if I can see I don't want to lose my marks all right so you can see where my low where my high spot is is right here right where I kind of saw with my eye um, now I don't want to get I want to definitely get lower than this part over here where my yards coming in but I don't care what that looks like. I want a nice smooth transaction there, but you can see it's gonna drop normally. I am high on this side, so I need to be more realistically over on this side. But bottom line, this is what I need to chew out. I need to chew this out, get this downhill here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull the line off, try to leave the stakes where they're at for the most part. Um, I guess it doesn't really matter as long as I run a level line, because I am gonna get in the way of the stake down here behind the camera. It's in the middle of the track here. But for the most part, I'm gonna put it on uh, fast mode, I guess, and you can watch me uh, do my thing on the track. I'm not an expert, but uh, I don't think you have to be an expert either. So uh, let's give it a give it a try.
like I got it for the most part. We'll find out tomorrow. We have rain coming in, so um, hopefully I can get this thing draining right. But it looks pretty good. I ran the string, just this section right here, because I know I got fall beyond that. It looks like it has a good crossover. Keep a close eye on this uh, over the next couple days. We'll get a significant amount of rain. We'll, we'll find out if it actually flows nice. I got this all grass. You saw that on film. It looks real nice. Nice uh, fall going into the here. Uh, I got the sprinkler running to get that straw down. If that'll blow away in the next windstorm. So I'm running the sprinklers for I think 40 minutes back here. Should be a good soaking. That one needs to be adjusted shooting way over here. But uh, I got a nice stack of topsoil. That's good stuff. That's stuff that's been in the forest for who knows how many decades or um, hundreds of years probably because there's never been anything built back here. But uh, you can tell by the type of soil uh, when you pick it up, it feels really, really good. Um, that's really nice stuff there. So got a new favorite pile of dirt, not a big deal. So I got good fall here, into here, and I got gradual fall. Let's just double check some of the measurements real quick. So I'm sitting about three right there. We're about four and three quarters there. Almost five there. Almost six. Seven and a half. Nine and a half. All the way to here, 10. And as you saw in the video, I got chewed this out pretty good here. Went around this corner. It doesn't really bother me. It's kind of lopsided. It should be fine. But I got really good fall once we get down in here. You can feel it when you walk it. And I'll try to get down here and turn around and show you. Boy, man, that's a pretty shot right there. I love that shot. Anyways, here it is. Looks really good. Okay, I'm risking it all to show you if this is working or not. Find out. Getting a pretty good rain right now. Let's just see how this swale looks like. It's probably going to have some water in it. Let's just see what it's doing. Got some fall there. Alright, here we go. You know, this will have grass on it, so that's going to help it too. But you can see it's flowing. I see the bubbles traveling downstream. So I think with more rain, um, this is just going to chew this out more and more. So you're getting good fall from the straw area too. It's a great rain, actually. I'm already getting grass over there. I just planted it, what, four days ago? Look at that. Grass already, baby grass. It's crazy. Helps when you have a sprinkler system. You can keep it wet, and then these rains like this really help it. I need to get it all strawed now, so when this rain's over, I'll go ahead and plant grass and straw this area here to the other straw area there. We're getting a good rain, so uh, we'll see what happens here. But right now, it's looking pretty good. That's a wrap. If you like these types of videos, give it a like. Make sure you subscribe. Please share with family and friends. And like I always say, I appreciate you spending time with the Home Pro Heroes.